Now, this week, we are doing a giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of the podcast to find out what we're giving away and how to be entered in the drawing. Welcome to Haas Brutality. My name is Stefan Zernecki from Black Tie Tours. With me, as always, Wesley Jones of Tour Cascadia, local artist Cole Rogers, and we are joined today by Chris Berg. Our wine Hello, maker. everybody. Yeah. Um, and we are here actually at Roots once again because Roots is where our wine's getting made. Our wine. Our wine. What? We're making it, baby. What? Weird. What? Who's How's making wine? What? Well, Chris is making wine. I always do. We're, we're scheming. <laughs> yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. the topic basically of this first section is to, to discuss harvest. We, we, we harvested. That was pretty cool. Our, was harvested our is vineyard. A, harvested is a. Um, Relative term, I would say. Well, we there compared were to what other people harvested, we harvested. We harvested look, something. We harvested. Yeah, no. What we harvested we is sure. relative. Yeah. How much? We, uh, that's a question. Right. But that's like I know. ate a I ate a chicken wing and Wesley had a steak. <laughs> Those they're very different things. Both but, ate. But we both ate. So yeah. Yeah. What you were and sure? It, I thought it was just pizza at the thing. No, no, he's being analogy. metaphorical. Oh, you gotta, yeah. be up, you gotta oh. stay on my level, dude. I'm sorry. Pearls and oysters, gotcha. Yeah, I should, I should have, <laughs> should have warned yeah. you. So, Pearls so and oysters. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but like when we literally pulled into the driveway of Roots with the trailer, mm-hmm. you had the trailer. Mm-hmm. I felt a huge sense of relief because yeah. it yes. was just. The fruit's in, like the yeah. hay's in the barn, like our yeah. parts, like, because it's kind of in your hands now. Yeah, I know. Like, we did our part right. poorly, but we did our part. Like, the, the, <laughs> fruit, the fruit is here. Look, we did the best we could with yeah. what we had to work with. Yeah. yeah but I don't even think poorly is a fair representation. There was a lot of, of there was a lot of unknown. Like, we, we came into this basically saying, we hope we can get some grapes. That wasn't right. like, and we talked about it on that episode, but, right. the, but, but we didn't say we're going to be making x amount of wine this year we just said mm-hmm. hopefully we can harvest something we're going to work our asses off to get it well to and let's learn we while harvest. we're moving forward and, and that too so like much. that's not shitting on like the vineyard itself either oh. like the circumstances that we all walked into together mm-hmm. it, was, it was a late game yeah. like yeah. we we actually i'm really pretty happy with what we got off the vineyard site yeah. there were there the were some nice good. clusters there were a lot there was a lot of nice <clears> fruit. obviously there was a, the majority right was not nice but um, but yeah, we got there eight thirty. Wesley got there a little earlier. I got there at eight. I misread the Facebook <laughs> yeah, invitation. Not, not because he's like, I'm gonna get there a half hour before everybody. Else. I was actually worried I was gonna be late. You were texting. Sure. Hey, I'll be. I'll I be know. there. So I'll be there in five, guys. It's gonna. And be I'm fun. like, it's it's eight twenty. I'm like, oh, just let it go. Okay, you'll just be, let it go. You're no, gonna be. Fine. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. So I know. But yeah, we got it was it was great. We got there and we had, I don't know. 10 total at that point yeah eight maybe yeah. Eight, yep. maybe it, was eight. it seemed like a light yeah it was like i remember thinking we have less than 10 people to pick this whole thing yeah but we knew more people were coming yeah laurel did her talk about clusters we looked at the three different clusters and like okay this is what we like this is horrible and this is what we'd <laughs> take like right. yeah you know and people were you know they, they, they were pretty down they kind of figured there were, there were questions as we went through and they're asking me right and i'm like Right. <laughs> that looks like we could get some juice out of I that. And we're working, we're working with this crazy energetic crew, and 90% of them have probably never picked grapes before. Yeah. yeah. So it was really, like, wild, but also fun to watch folks carry around a bucket and be like, oh, what do you think of this thing? Yeah. yeah. Put it in your bucket. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> Chris will take care of it on the yeah. back end. And that, but then we had some more people show up. And right. We had a ton we got, of people. We, had, we posted, yeah. a, we posted a clip cool. on, our, on our Instagram, but... I don't think I've ever had any like asked anybody to volunteer for me mm. for anything. I don't know. I have a, I don't know. I just never have. I've never been in that position. So when we asked like people this. to volunteer for this, right. we assumed we'd have a few people show up, and the feel it, like it was really overwhelming looking out and seeing all these people that were there for no reason other than just like we asked them to show up. It was yeah. It was really awesome yeah. to see that. Crazy. I mean, and some of the people that I invited that I didn't even like know that well. Like, That's what I mean. People I, mean, I, I sent a message to on Facebook and said, "Hey, if you can come." You know, like, like cool. Annalisa and showed up, right. you know, we're yeah, and, out, and hung out like all day five years ago. Right. Like yeah. she was there almost the whole time. Yeah. Right. Like, like, oh, great. You didn't. But yeah, we ended up, so we had like 20 people at one point and right. things were like, we were cooking. We started down in the Pearl, going through that, moved over to the Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris the Pearl cool. is a section of the vineyard that was, that was harvested, not First. necessarily in downtown Portland. 
Yeah, that that's way different than that. <laughs> we started, we started made our way Portland. southwest, yeah. the pearl <laughs> part of the vineyard, Laurel's favorite so. part. Yes, yeah. and uh, some of the best fruit Chris yeah. has seen so far of this this harvest, actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sure it was. Some of the best Pinot he's pulled, he's brought in. Well, we had enough people that we went we went through it one time, and then yeah. we were able to make an entire second sweep of in the, the vineyard, like yeah. both the east and west sides as well. We or, did. Yeah. I was with groups that after everyone went through, just we kind of came back and yeah, the extra clusters. Just look yeah. for and see if anybody. Zach, Zach went back through and, yeah. and got a few buckets yeah. at the end. There was yeah. There's shout out to Zach group. for staying all day on his day off. By the way, shout yeah. out to Zach for staying so long and lending us the trailer, trailer. dude. And, and the night coming out the night before, <laughs> dude. Yeah, we really appreciated that a lot. Yeah, um, thank you, Zach. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so yeah, the Pinot Gris. I thought. I was pretty encouraged when I was picking the Pinot Gris. I thought it looked really nice. Yeah, it was almost half as tasty. Half good. of the whole load was yeah, Pinot right. Gris. Yeah, and <laughs> we um, on purpose though. Worked our way we up the really hill. Yeah. Oh yeah. The number of ladybugs in the oh. bins is really going to add to the flavor profile at the end. Always. They kind of taste smell they're like organic. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> smell like dirt. Fuck ladybugs. They're they vegan. They bite. Um, have you ever been bitten by a ladybug? They don't no. feel good. Yeah, I've been bitten really? by ladybugs multiple times. Earwigs are worse. Bro. Really. That is yeah. the first one. Bitten by a ladybug? Yeah. I feel like that's I mean, a I don't think they're technically effect. ladybugs. Oh, they're, I think it's like assholes. that. Can you fact check this? I think that was there. Really no, it's not the real no, ladybug. It it's like the. There's no ladybugs that bite. Like the a beetle. A yeah. faux ladybug? It's a beetle that imitates a ladybug. And they're like, ha ha, fuck you. And you're like, oh, a ladybug. Oh. I would say there's a guarantee well, only are. one of us at this they table happen. scared of that fucking bug, and it's Stefan. Okay. But scared Moving on. Yeah. I don't cuddle them. I don't cuddle them. They're not my favorite. What were we talking about? Wine. Uh, harvesting. So, yeah. So we worked our way up the hill. Your Aunt Susan was there. <laughs> With her dog. With her dog. With her dog. Who has a Annie Rose. Annie Rose. Annie Rose. Annie Rose. Annie Rose was just like following Susan around. I have actually a bunch of really adorable. good pictures for her to, to send her to her of uh, the dog and her. Your parents oh, were there. Cool. Your dad yeah. didn't follow directions very well. But he had a ball. Does my dad ever follow directions very well? <laughs> he was Step picking on your grapes. Kids were there. As soon as my dad like shows up came. to something, yeah. he's in charge. It doesn't matter if he is know what he's doing or <laughs> if he's matter. invited. It just Hey Billy, you're picking this row. He okay. doesn't mean Who? to be in charge. He's not doing this on purpose. He just shows up and it's Hey. What can I tell you to do? A, Look, yeah. if, if Bill tells me to do <laughs> something, it doesn't matter yeah, if I know what it. I'm doing or not, I'm gonna do it. Bill the Law Rogers. Exactly. <laughs> right. Like right. he has a nickname for a reason. And uh yeah. Hey, but he, picked he picked a fuckload of grapes. <laughs> of so course he did. Cheers. Way more than everybody else, I'm sure. And yep. that's uh new nickname. He, he, just the way he is. Yeah, the I can see him being like, is this <laughs> enough? Machine. Like a mountain of grapes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Your mom picked away. And your uh, kids picked away. My kids were there running around. Boo took some video and some drone footage he took. Really? Yeah, Boo did Boo oh, drove the drone. Cool. Dude, yeah. Flew flew the drone. Awesome. Got some really good shots actually. That'll be fun to see. You should put that on. We'll splice it right we'll here. Splice it in. And then there was like put a it right fi- there. There was like a 15 <laughs> totally. minute long video of him as he landed the drone and just was walking it around the vineyard talking to people. And he completely didn't realize he was recording the whole time. <laughs> We're keeping that one. <laughs> Dude, I was We're just like, are you serious, man? Doesn't pick it up. I hear like our whole conversation. He's like, oh, I got to turn this off. Doesn't turn it off. Keeps going. <laughs> it was so cute. Yeah, you got a big SD card. Just, just keep rolling. Yeah. yeah. Just Indeed. get it all. I, fuck. There's yeah. battery power. What the fuck? Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. It's all good. <laughs> and then, uh, and then we took a break mm-hmm. and ate a bunch uh, of cheese. Way too early. Uh, well, yes and no. In I mean, my opinion, the wait, break. Well, the break wait, was when one was thing. that? That was right. Right when you got, got there. there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right you know, we were all just like. <laughs> everyone yeah, all stopped. of a sudden I'm like, where is everybody? And yeah. then, and then everybody disappeared. And then, it was a wave. Like, it wasn't what, like an official break. But like I think once a couple people started walking to go get like snacks and drinks, it was just like someone well, said you, bread, uh, cheese, like and eggs. It was like new. Yeah. If you haven't picked a vineyard yeah. before, though, to maybe. our listeners at least, it's really really hard work. And so yeah, for people stupid. that didn't, oh, I I was really really tired, you know, and and I've done a little bit of it at least. But like, yeah, I mean, it, a break was definitely break break due. Right. The break was due, and yeah. then and then we ordered the pizza. <laughs> And the thing is, we ordered the pizza because we thought we only had another hour. Right. We wanted to make sure we got yeah. pizza before everyone went home. Right, exactly. And and we did not have another hour. We had more than that. But the pizza was there, so people were like, hey! and then they, then, they, right. then we ate pizza, and then they were like, eh, I'm kind of half right. the people. Thank you. Like, so from a bunch of inexperienced pickers, they, they hung in there a long time. if anyone ever tells you that um, unskilled workers are coming for your jobs... 
or they are so full of shit because vineyard and agriculture work is so yeah. fucking difficult. And uh, if you want to sign up for that kind of work, be my guest. But until then, you can shut the fuck we'll up. Just say that's yeah. a, that's basically a fucking talking point, and that's all that is because yeah. nobody wants. No. Nobody is willing. I was to come and do roast. those jobs. No, and I, that's I why you know what I mean. The hardest. Well, I'm glad you are, guys are, got a chance to see that side of it. Absolutely, because it oh, yeah. definitely opens up your eyes towards it. Right. I mean, you get you gain a greater respect for everything that goes into it, and all the people that came and worked. Too. Oh, yeah. All those people so. w- left, like realizing, man, that was actually pretty hard work. Mm-hmm. If they actually, if they, if they took the moment to look and see how much was picked, and then they realize, and they do the math to go through how many pounds it takes to make a bottle of wine, and then you talk to somebody, okay, they make ten thousand bottles of wine. How many, how many pounds of grapes does that take? And how many pounds oh, yeah, could that, that person pick in that day? Yeah. You know, a bucket is about 20 pounds. So, you know, you do the math on that. I think it's something, and a couple don't models? quote me, about like, yeah, I think it's something like four and a half to five pounds per bottle. I'm not 100% certain on that math of it, but okay, say not four from pounds. That vineyard. So, say, <laughs> yeah. you get a lot of stems. <laughs> yeah, so, a little bit background on, on this for those people that have not caught up or been by a vineyard that has had phylloxera and then slash powdery mildew. Those are two elements that are going to deteriorate the overall amount of fruit that is on a vine so you have to work harder in order to find the clusters that you want in order to make decent wine from it so you have to work harder and there's less of it available and you, how many acres total was four point did you eight. go through there's 4.7 acres of the property we probably picked three acres maybe about three acres yeah. of it and with the pickers that aren't necessarily trained pickers at it, but after that day, you definitely become more trained. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it takes a long time to go through and and do that, and so uh, it was a great learning aspect. And hopefully, everybody that came and picked gains a greater understanding and knowledge of what it actually takes to put into a bottle of wine. Right. All the labor, and that's just the picking part. Right. But yeah. That's a different story entirely. Yeah. But it is. It's so there's so many variables that go into a bottle of wine. That's why we constantly refer back to everything on our pages and everything about this is about people. Right. Every fi- every picture we put up or anything, it's always going to come back to we love wine, but we the reason we love wine is because of the way it brings people together. Yep. All oh, the people, yeah, that all was the people a, behind yeah. the wine. Yep. Yeah, that was beautiful. That yeah, was super people had cool. a ball. I think like and it was funny I like, I think I kind of saw a transition like you get there, and you've got the energy. You're like, oh, this will be fun or whatever. And then you kind of like, okay, this is going to be work. And then I think at some point there was kind of like a shift. Maybe I'm just internalizing all this. I don't know. To like, <laughs> now we've got a job to do. Like, right. Right. there are people there that I would have totally understand if they had just pieced out. Mm-hmm. Like, right. go pick for a couple hours, and then you're out of there. But then, but they stuck in there. Right. I kept doing it like, no, I, I want to get the job done. Yes. You know, and, and you could you could kind of see it in their eyes a little bit. And like, God, like why aren't you? Well, I would have left by now if it wasn't me. Right. Like, my fruit or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, yeah it was pretty impressive. But well, how, the, the end of the day, though, that was a slog. When we there had, was about four of a five, four or five of us out there just getting, we were basically picking the last acre with like a few, just a few of us. Yeah. And uh, it was remarkably slow. Mm-hmm. And all the grapes that, most of the grapes that were any good were literally on the ground. Mm-hmm. Right. Wes so, was like, yeah. look in the grass. <laughs> look in the- yeah, we have well, a Well, part of what we started doing when we came into the vineyard was we started suckering these vines that already had fruit on them. <laughs> Huge, ridiculous Terrible We mistake. should have left. <laughs> because God, the, the clusters that came that? off, oh, yeah. the suckers oh, that got access to oh, all dude, the nutrients, some like were basically suckers. sitting on the ground, were just yeah. gorgeous. In the grass. They were protected oh, by the grass. They were... Yeah. Yeah. Probably the ones that got sprayed, as it everything. turns out, because our sprayer is not exactly <laughs> aimed at the right area. <laughs> That's the guess. We maybe. We'll see. But anyways, yeah. We've got to take a look at that sprayer. Yeah. We got it. But anyway. think about it, though, back to, like, old world. Back in, like, France and Italy and Germany and places like that and Spain. That, you know, there are, there are families that, when it comes harvest time, 
they've been picking the same vineyards. They aren't, they don't have any relationship to the winemakers, other than maybe 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 they're maybe they're related, but mm. most likely they're just friends, and they've been picking those vineyards for generations. And it's something that they just do. Yeah, they get they get they probably get paid or or, or whatever some sort of get like some wine. Here's a case of or, wine. Yeah, and, and or there's probably a big meal or whatever that deals with it. But that's that's. That's the way it is, but it's a beautiful thing. It's, right. it's like everybody's chipping in together yeah. on it. No, it's it, special. It, and I, it's something that definitely, now that you guys have done it, it's something you will take with you. Right. It felt like family. Totally. Oh, oh yeah. Totally. Those were bonds. Yeah. And I was, and yeah, I even, the, even the Uncle Fester dude that you don't really talk to once every <laughs> 30, 40 years, you know? <laughs> Not that family. <laughs> uh, best part of the day, which Wesley was purposely left out of was yeah. when we did a shot of tequila with laurel and how thankful laurel was how yeah. happy she was to get that done she's cool she was stoked and it was she's really fun. cool to, yeah. to be like yeah. i think all of us have kind of felt like we just want to make sure that she's getting a, an equal shake in this whole thing right? right we don't want to feel like we're taking advantage of anything and it's felt like she might have gotten the better half of the bargain <laughs> at this point because you got i mean it's awesome we got she got some fruit yeah. off the vineyard this year and yeah she was it a, felt, a trooper she's got bum knees too. She was. Oh, she picked as much as anybody. She yeah, she was out there all day yeah. with the tractor, yeah. running around. Well, she really was the. Re- I mean, she taught. It. She showed us how we had to do it. You know. Right. Yeah. So yeah, shout out. So to much Lowell. we learned. You're you're even the, our you're our, awesome our sound producer Ian, on crutches. Yeah. Yep. Still picked out there picking some fruit. Picked for eight hours. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make him go pick Thanks, uh, the rest yeah. of the vineyard after we're done. I'm here, a lawnmower. We'll talk about that. How many how many minutes do we have left, Ian? Three minutes. Quick. How is the juice looking, Chris? We got three minutes. Come it's on, looking look. really good. I really, yeah. I really am enjoying it. It's got that nice peachy aroma that we yeah. smelled, and and um, there's some nice depth to it. Um, it's gonna make just for a fun quaffing wine, That's for important. sure. Yeah, I can sign up. Yeah, that. yeah, and share that. 90, <laughs> 92 or up in the 90, 96 range range score I'm pricing uh, no, or scoring yeah. scoring oh. 97 you're saying are we going to be below 92 are there i guess it just depends on how much you want to sell it for <laughs> okay, okay if you want to sell it for like 50 bucks then it's probably closer to like 95 bucks but if you want to score it like you know or you want to price it a little bit more like accessible to people sure it's going to it's probably score. be like yeah, 90 okay. 91 look people don't actually in <laughs> the grocery store they don't actually spectator. know like we should, what the we initials really mean we make the white wine sparkling <laughs> we're just a hundred dollars a bottle and we should there send it to one spectator and be just like just as like a right. fuck yeah, you it's right. a, it's just to see. Right. no Dude. no anybody from publications don't we're listen. not gonna do that by the way we're <laughs> just kidding no. um we're gonna have our own wine review board that's gonna give <laughs> us a special <laughs> score we actually are yeah we're starting a new wine rating system and we're gonna actually a hospitality system gave it 97 yeah there we go all right, we're going to take a little break, and we'll be right back with the top five romantic vineyards in the Willamette Valley. Ooh. We'll be right back. Hi. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Hospitality. We are going to discuss now our top fives. Yeah. Our top fives. And, uh, oh, and we have a little, uh, I'm excited. We're going to talk about romantic. I love it. Romantic. I love um, And we're going to first drink a little... Juice. This is our juice. That's right. So cheers. Cheers, cheers boys. Cheers. Chris I'm drank his there. down, but whatever. whatever. I, I didn't fucking throw. I got two barrels of it. Delicious. Oh. Delicious. Well, that'll be dessert. Peachy. We'll be coming um, to you this spring. Coming to you. That's right. Coming mm. this spring. Be uh, be a supporter of uh, hospitality and please buy some of our. Yeah. Name wine. label name yet to be determined. Yeah. Yeah. We shall see. If any <clears throat> branding experts out there. Give so, us your ideas. So the theme this week is romantic wineries. Romantic wineries. Which there are a lot of in the Valley. Yeah. And defining what that means, we, we kind of went back and forth on that. Yeah. We and have I, no idea what romantic we, let's, we're, Honestly, I, we don't know. I know. This I, is our best shot. I'm married almost 20 years. I don't know. No. My, my wife's <laughs> idea of like romance is, you know, sitting on the couch drinking um, tea and reading books <laughs> and you. me leaving her the fuck alone. It's fine. So... Like, oh, yeah. you left me alone so hot today. Like, that's yeah. <laughs> a true <laughs> home she just, she like, And she yeah. wants the kids to leave her alone. Like, when I, like, cook dinner and do, like, just play center field and take care of things, 
Vacuuming. That's romance. She used to Ooh. like when I used to vacuum. Yeah. If 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 Stefan walked in the living room and said, "I made a day for you today. I picked out four of the most romantic wineries that I'm going to take no. you to," make him be like, "Fuck you! Yeah. I'm using my Saturday <laughs> yeah, to that's, read." That's what for you. Be romantic with so. yourself. Right. So, <laughs> anyway, yeah, exactly. So this is relative. Yeah, like, this is relative. Ian to Wesley, let's go wine tasting. Yeah. Okay. So yes, it's relative. It's kind of, but I mean, but I, but I think <laughs> the ones that I the ones that I kind of picked, I thought like, okay, this is something where I've. I've seen people really enjoy it, and you know, makes makes maybe makes for great pictures. Right. Um, As hosts, good. when we're asked for romantic stops during the day, sure. these are the places where these might be of. like a good for pictures. Or, or I said that already. Um, a, a proposal potentially. Yeah. Um, okay, so my list number one for me, Archery Summit. Um, Archery Summit. I don't. I don't take a ton of people there. The wines are really expensive. Um, it's really good. The really Their good. Arcus Estate but, is great. Oh, yeah, the wines are yeah, they're really, solid. really good. They're great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But go do the cave tour or like a tasting down That's in the pretty. caves. They've got great lights and the barrels and the smell. Mm-hmm. The whole pa- the whole package down in the caves. It's a it's that's a However, great way to go. The bathrooms down by the caves are very echoey, so don't get any ideas. Mm-hmm. There's actually a bathroom page. We're going to get to that. Instagram. We're going to get to that. Yeah, I've heard. There's like, well, I'm at restroom reviewer. Have you heard of that? Yeah, yeah. somebody took the idea from me. Crazy. Yeah, who? Uh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Some of us have lots of ideas that never do anything. So I never took it. I mean, who? Uh, somebody. Somebody. That's a segment for another day. <laughs> oh, let's list. Anyway, moving yeah, on. I could be included in that. Uh, Beckham Estate. <laughs> Beckham Estate. Uh, so they're out on Parrot Mountain. You know, the, the, the scenery isn't necessarily, like, particularly romantic. What I like about it is it's a husband-wife team. They complement each other really well. Andrew is a – I think I think he's now retired? A teacher. But for, for a long time, he, he did everything. He, he taught full-time, and he did all the work, and he's a ceramicist. And you go, you go You go in there. You go into the studio, oh. and you see the clay pots. You cannot help but think of Ghost – I don't know if you youngins have seen you this pussy. with Patrick Swayze <laughs> Jesus and Christ. Demi Moore. Oh, no. oh <laughs> no, I don't my think of that love and I've no. never thought of that. While I was and the, there. Um, right? you've just never just thought right of that? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're you're Patrick and you're Demi. Yeah, well, I'm smaller. You're I da- don't know. You're dating yourself, right? And is I'm hot. Um, <laughs> two people who are really awesome and yeah. their dreams coming true. <laughs> right. That's right. part of it. But then I do think of ghosts all the time. And they've got a beautiful view. <laughs> right. Anyway. There so. are girls that think of that, I guarantee it. They, I've never whatever, that you know. my entire life, though. So. Hey. Well, how many times have you been to Beckham? Well, I don't I've, know. <clears throat> I've been to Beckham, but you, I never you, thought that. Yeah, well, but no. now I will. There you go. Now you, you, got, a, you got a you date idea. Now. Perfect. Yep. I'll even, I'll be your Swayze. Calling Clemens. Uh, it's beautiful. They've got a fireplace. Um, great view. Um, I don't know. It's just it's a. I I think of it as a romantic, nice little spot. Yeah, beautiful Again, deck. Great yeah. pictures. Yeah, you go out there on yeah. that like crush pad slash like patio thing. It's a winner. Eminent domain. <laughs> similar. They uh you know the sun kind of setting at the end of the day over the the coast range. Right. Um, beautiful light. It's a nice space. Great service. They. I mean. It's overall hard to be eminent, right. but um, yeah, great. Well, great and for some events, they have this food truck called Renegade, Renegade? that comes and serves killer food. Renegade yeah, they give stuff. me they give me mm. the shits though. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> some of us have more fragile stomachs. Than I, do. This. I do. Yeah, this whole body. <laughs> this whole body. No, it's actually, true. I do want to talk to you about harvest stuff. All right, feud. Let's do it. Cool. They, they, oh, Perfect. so good! Dude? No, seriously, Nick is Nick is gifted. Their, the Renegade food truck is fucking amazing. Yeah, we're kidding. I'll work on a little jingle. But, yes. yeah. but yes. Um Okay, and my last romantic one because we got to move on. Uh, White Rose, mm-hmm. beautiful view. You've got kind of like the low lights mm-hmm. inside the tasting room. Um, you know, little dark corners for nookie nookie. Um, and then and then the, <laughs> the restroom. <laughs> and then no. you trip on shit. Well, maybe if I it's dark enough. Well, and Doggo's beautiful accent behind the bar. Oh, Doggo oh, is oh, such a charmer. Uniforms, yeah. They just look so... I know. Everything looks do. so charming there. And if Would there's any like bathroom, it's a great bathroom. bathroom. And it's not so close. far away from everyone else. <laughs> you know, as a, as a married couple, you could look at it and go, hey, that's a great idea for our bathroom at home. How about that? Like a Pinterest. Exactly. It's a Pinterest bathroom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. That's it. Some Edison light bulbs and a. That's it. It's so pretty. 
The urinal's awesome. It's like a big tub. You pee in. Yeah. Just let it I fly. didn't know it was a urinal for so long. <laughs> let it, but oh, I, I figured it out. Where it was. I figured I it out. I like the urinals that go to the floor. Took me five or six like times in that bathroom to realize like I could pee in it. At, that they had at Bridgeport. Oh, Bridgeport bathrooms are the best. Oh, they were like yes, sarcophagus they toilets. Oh, yeah. And oh, know? and actually, Tan get tan- buried tan- in that thing. Tan- okay, not tan- can't, go off on, can't go off on bathrooms. Woodburn. We'll, Woodburn. we'll do another episode oh, about bathrooms. Sorry. Most romantic, bathroom. most Apparently, romantic. All right, wineries. we got, we got, we got to move on. Most romantic wineries. Cole, you're up. Cole, thank you. Please tell us about your love life. It's hot, guys. Mm-hmm. Bryn Mawr, I'll just say the view is stunning. That's all. I mean, the most yeah. amazing view you can yeah, get. Yeah, it'll take your breath away. As good as it gets. Pinner Ash, the gardens uh, are really beautiful. They're pretty. Um, it's a place I would take a girl on a date, at personally. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's really pretty. Um, and they're they're really hospitable at Pinner Ash. They do a really yeah. good job. Every time I've gone there, I've been happy with the service. Um, Raptor Ridge, it's in between Newburgh and Hillsboro slash Beaverton, kind of at the top of Shehalem Mountain. Has a really beautiful view looking out over kind of the Newburgh area. Um, Hillsboro. Hillsboro yes. area, thank you. Yep. yep. A town. Um, yeah, but it's a people. but it's a really pretty really pretty place. To One go. pretty small too. Kind of, so you're gonna get yeah. that intimate it's intimate exactly. environment. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say mm-hmm. that, but Wesley cut me off. So yeah. I'll just keep going. <laughs> uh, Cole gets, gets all of his good ideas from me. It's fine. Oh, here we go again. Oh, bubbles. Yeah. Oh. No, I love Raptor Ridge, and yeah. it's close to my house, so I go there quite often. Um, Domain Roy, Domain Roy is like in the winter time. They have this really nice little fireplace. They keep it stoked all the time. <laughs> It's cozy in the summertime. They have this beautiful deck. You yeah. look out over this awesome vineyard, and it's just a it's a picturesque place for sure to, to get Instagram pictures or whatever. But also a place you could talk. They leave you alone, or they teach you about the wine. Yeah, um, yeah and you and you said earlier like if I'm gonna take a girl out, like to one Roy. winery, don't mean Roy, Roy is hard to beat. Yeah, like, right. To, you can bottle impre- service. And you could do right. the intimate guy, tasting, whatever. and then soda. I just like the combination of kind of the the property, the deck, the ambiance of the place. Yeah. I think it's romantic, but I'm a single guy, so what the fuck do I know? Well, <laughs> yeah, not much. <laughs> right, exactly. Of all of us, you should be thinking about it <laughs> as much as I am taking notes, guys. guys. I'm taking notes. Yeah. Um, my top five, if you're going to go all out and do a food pairing, I think Bergstrom's Echelon tasting is mm-hmm. a really neat place to kind of settle in. You have like half the house or the outside space all to yourself. Oh, is this the, food. the Dundee Hills? Yeah. Oh, the cool. Bergstrom yeah. State. The Bergstrom oh, Vineyard. That's a, that was his dad's or yeah, his yeah. got married. parents' place. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's They've cool. got amazing gardens there. Gorgeous gardens. They have a chef from New York that came out and joined the team. God, and, their, wow. and their service there is like... Oh, oh, it's so second good. to none. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Yeah, they did a great job. Huge fans. Um, Dukes out in the Amaniola Hills. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're going to be tasting by yourself. It's on a little man-made lake. I saw a cougar. And not an, not the kind that like was an animal. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, not, not a, kind of a shark. Not a porch yeah. pounder cougar. And, yeah. uh, um, Longolo <laughs> Estate, I think, is a cool neat. Pounds him on the porch. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that Jesus is a cool. Uh, that, I've uh, seen the architecture. Yeah, really Longolo cool. Estate's neat. It's a built it's really to be an cool. indoor outdoor tasting space. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've got a fireplace that Chase is, is cool. inside and outside. Chase Renton's a great guy. They often have basketball mm-hmm. players at their estate, so it's a yeah. great place for girls to go. <laughs> it's a, yeah, yeah, if you want to do some like, yeah, celebrity sighting. If you're yeah. going to take a girl, that's not where you want to go. <laughs> you're just, maybe, There's going to be like a 6 foot 8 guy now. that has a lot more money than you that's going to be sitting in the tasting room. And you're gonna be like, if she oh. likes tall guys, don't, <laughs> right. don't no. take them. I'll just say I don't take people to Los Angelo, but Wesley's, that's, that's his a, place, yeah. I like the dude still. Just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Big Table Farm. It's got that like rustic mystique, and there's a lot of people that have this romantic idea of, and I th- I think I shit on people a lot on the podcast. I'm realizing that now that have this idea that they're just gonna like sell everything. They're gonna move from the big city, like buy this old farm and yeah. do the like biodynamic farm thing. And um, so it's it's one, it's a really cool place to take people to have a unique experience. But two, it's also a really good way to like squish people's unrealistic expectations, like. Here, meet Brian and Claire and have this great thing. But also, like, this is a lot of work. Want to mm-hmm. butcher a pig? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then Resonance. I, I think that that back seating area, they've got the fire pits. It's nice. It looks out over Pretty. Yemho Carlton. It's pretty. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. They, yeah, their view looks straight to the coast. Yeah. And, God, it's, it's breathtaking. Like, yep. the clouds and every, the whole package. Well, they have, it's a, it's like, a club member room, too, that has a big fireplace. It's, yeah, big fan. They got going on. 
Uh, anything pop into your head, Chris? Besides, obviously, you live romantic. on a you live on a romantic winery. Our place. Duh. We'll just say Roots is the top of our list. <clears throat> yeah. Chris basically built this place for romance. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. He's a yeah. sex panther. We just we bow, just, we just bow, get bow. down all the time. Oh, There's little know. bits of panther. We've heard stories. Chris. We've heard stories. <laughs> little bits of panther. Look at my dogs over there. They're just getting down. Right your over dog there. was <laughs> skull fucking your other Can dog you about that? five minutes ago. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there was a whole lot of romance in that. I should say romance. <laughs> well, I'd say it was it's romantic, all but golden. Come on. There's it's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. It is, but I mean, like, if you if you do like, I I bring people up here who are cool. <laughs> And like to have a good time, and um, it's it's like the anti uptight, you know. It's it's got the antithesis <laughs> to some of the other places that can feel a little prescribed. Where it's like, <coughs> right, come up here, just just hang out. People are gonna have a good time. Well, yeah. I feel like and your mom's just, pretty good at pushing people in towards romance. Is she? Her. She has been with my guests. Really? Just giving them some wine, telling them to go spend some time on the deck. Four or five pregnancies. Boom, boom. <laughs> she's boom, boom, she's boom, been boom. successful. Yeah, you don't even know, Chris. Your your your, your place. No, is, uh, actually, I don't gym. want people coming by here for the romance or anything. <laughs> I just don't want them coming by. Leave me alone. Get off my lawn. Yeah. Who are you? What? The what? <laughs> Wine. <laughs> oh, all right, come in. No, I just I've always wanted it to be like the people just come up and they discover it. Like it, mm, they yeah. like they've they've never been here before and it's just like. And they've never been told like th- it's their own thing, you know. Yeah, right. I don't yeah, want yeah. it to be like, like go out and market it and go advertise. Mm. Come by, blah, blah blah, or have my own fucking weather camera and shit like that, <laughs> you know. And no, it's and a different secret spot. Stuff. It's a secret spot. Yeah, yeah. Our spot. Our spot. I think people will enjoy it more. I think people, exclusivity. Yeah. You snob. You should what? close on exclusivity. <laughs> you need to close no, on Saturdays, then, bro. What? You need to close on Saturdays. You just be like, yeah, we're oh, closing. Yeah, be like true. really weird. Close for weekends. Be yes. like, we're only open on Friday. We're, we're only Four open on six. Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. From yeah. noon you till your price two o'clock. Like it's a, yeah. it's a case purchase minimum to show up. <laughs> no, you can fuck off. No, no, I know a couple people like that, and oh. I think they're total tools. That'll but know. we won't talk about. Oh, no. shots fired. Yeah. No, please don't do that. Mm-mm. Next episode. I like it. My, yeah, you know, my grand, my grandparents used what? to close the restaurant every September. Because this is back in Pennsylvania. Up in Allentown. It was not in Allentown. It was in Reading, but uh, they they closed it because it was September was their busiest month, and they were just like, I remember mm, you telling me, yeah, I don't want, I don't, yeah, we don't want to work that hard. You can do that. Yeah, just mm, be like, eh, we're it. shutting it down. We're going. I mean, September is a great time for mushroom hunting in Pennsylvania. Anyway, we're going so. to the beach. Yeah. Or the shore. Mushroom. It's called the shore back there. Shore? Yeah. Do they go to the Jersey Shore? <clears throat> Jersey Shore, yeah. Cape May. Nice. Cape May is not like the rest of the Jersey Shore. Cape May is like... A quiet? Re- it's quiet and like the most beautiful architecture. That. Um, yeah, they have these beautiful old Victorian houses. <laughs> Squirrel. I know. <laughs> Get them. Get them. Get them. Yeah, they're yeah, really they're crazy. Crazy. yeah, they're sleeping. All right. <laughs> That's going to do it for this segment. We will be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Hospital Brutality. Now is the time where we discuss what's been beautiful and what's been brutal. Um, beautiful. What's beautiful? Golden dog. Well, we're just super thankful to see that the smoke is gone. And just to, like, it's gone, the baby. amount of <clears throat> uh, joy I felt walking out of work the other day when I looked up in the sky. I don't remember mm. what day it was, but whatever day the smoke was gone at first. Right. And to see clouds, it was like actual clouds i felt yeah it was just so relieving i don't know it i am overjoyed that the smoke is gone and that the rain came and helped at least clear some of that smoke out i know the fires aren't out yet but not one percent but they're a lot better yeah they are a lot better yeah yeah so yeah and we harvested in beautiful weather we did perfect weather yeah last last sunday well and we were yeah we were looking forward to the good weather but it's turned on us a little bit uh so part of our beautiful was going to be the weather (laughs) However, the weather changes as it does. Yeah. So we have a little... So, Chris, maybe you can speak to this a little bit. We have... Obviously, we've cleared out the smoke, but now we're dealing with a little bit of rain. What, and so, I, most of the grapes are still out there. Most of the grapes are still hanging. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. We've got a little bit of rain. Lots. Well, okay, no, we, no, no, no. Sorry. Lots of fruit still hanging. Lots rain? of fruit. Now I don't think there's a lot... I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of rain coming in between now and... When the majority of the fruit's coming in, I yeah. think 
for me, I think this has been a blessing to get a little bit of rain in here between between the smoke effect or event or whatever the hell you want to call taint. it. The taint. No, there's no taint. You don't think taint's <laughs> going to be a problem. Jackson told us he didn't think taint think would be a problem. I don't think so. I don't really think so. I mean, okay. everything, I, I just, mean, if you were like living, the people keep saying taint. I mean, if you were living like within yeah, like a few a miles of the vineyard, of, of uh, the, yeah. or your vineyard was within a few miles of the fire or within like, say maybe even like 10 miles of the fires or 15 miles of the fires, it could be, it could be a little more impactful, yeah. but you know, we're talking about East like, of I five vineyards might be, yeah, you know, those might be a little bit more infected, or but impacted. even but even as long as the fires burn, most likely not, right? But I mean, yeah, well, I mean, it depends on what what Fuck is considered be. new smoke versus old smoke. New smoke mm-hmm. being like the smoke that is like fresh from the fire, mm-hmm. and it's just like within like miles of the of the of the vineyard, but you know. We're over sixty miles from the major fires that were over there in the in the Cascades, mm-hmm. yeah. and so everything I've sampled, I have not experienced anything, if or anything, just maybe a minor little note to it. Mm. So I'm rather optimistic about it. Yeah. I know that there's been a little bit of press about it that has been on the negative side of irresponsible. Things. And Press. I just think it's just been a matter of just sensationalizing it yeah. and trying yeah. to gain viewerships. Get clicks. And I, yeah, and I just yeah. that's media. Uh, it's so unfortunate that we've as we've come to that point where you know we it's all about the sound bits and sound bites, mm-hmm. yeah. not bits and bites and bites and bits, but just the little tiny little nuggets of it and that we want because we don't have the attention span or we don't want to spend the time going through the full thing so there was an article that came out recently that i was really just like i read it i read the first two i read the 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 title of it and i read the first couple yes i know dude that was that was bullshit and there was a couple pair the read the first couple paragraphs and i was just like what the where are they getting this? It's a sensational, like yeah, there no no background, no backup, follow up, no other sort of sources. Just one person's opinion, or one person's thought train on it, yeah. and it was and his his whole thought train and experience and everything is based upon being about. 20 plus miles to almost 30 miles closer to the fire in the epicenter Mm. than I am at, which is two worlds totally different. But it's all getting lumped in together. Oregon wines. Yeah. Right. Right. Or Willamette Valley or whatever. But it's still, it's just, it's not, it's not cool. So, I mean, as far as the thing goes, I think. You know, I'm I'm rather bullish on the vintage overall. I think mm-hmm. it's been it's we've been well, we've the got all there's a ton of sun there's a ton stuff. of sun coming when yeah. we clear out of this out yeah. of this rain. It's going to be you know borderline Indian summer. I think it's going to be like 75 80 degrees days. Mm-hmm. Well, really that nice. and on top of those that little bit of rain or that that inch and plus of rain that we've gotten, we'll be able to dry up on the backside. But what it'll end up doing is that if there was potentially a, some smoke taint in some of those vineyards. It has been diluted to the to the yeah. nano factor, or nano factor, or nino nano nano nano. The nano. point you can't taste it. Nano nano. Nano what nano. What's that thing? Yeah, more than Mindy. That's more than Mindy. Nano Williams. Yeah. But yeah. Picogram. To yeah. yeah. So it's not gonna be. There's there's gonna be. Things are looking good. None. Things are looking yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a vintage. killer vintage, and yeah. it's gonna be a. A year to remember when you look at the bottle 2020 that you bought oh, from Lima Valley. Yeah, but no it, when shit. it's a really yeah, good fucking good bottle of wine, yeah, just drink the bottle and tell you me if be you like, still God. see 2020. Honestly, imagine 2020. if imagine if 2020 ends up being <laughs> the vintage for Morgan, and it's like that shit was all fucked up, but we got some good wine out of it. Yeah, well, I might, they might end up, might end up being great values too because of the because of the, the smoke bullshit press for sure. You and know. you can get our bottles for 85 bucks. Well, in about six months, <laughs> minimum, we're straight we're, bargain. We're, we're, the 2020 pre-sale. premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna talk to my spectator. We're gonna get that score in. It's really an investment. Uh, yeah, for yeah. Your kids, it's for the kids. And if you pre-buy it, kids. we'll give it to you for seventy-five. So, 
and we're gonna be so, just so, DM me. so famous. I'll give you my Venmo. In just a handful of years, you buy those first bottles, hold on to them. <laughs> I heard I heard Yeezy actually like wants to just buy our entire mm. stock. Who so Yeezy? Yeah. I don't well, he's I didn't past. hear that, but I'm he's, open to it. Yeah. So <laughs> no, <laughs> let me I'm, see that email. I'm just saying I've heard things. What? I love in my head. I love rumors. They're in my head. <laughs> rumors. All right, all right. Let's go to what's brutal. Okay. Um, the w- we we I, I read in the Willamette Valley Wineries Industry Tasting Collective, which is a Facebook group yes. of hospitality people in the, right. in the wineries. Right, Chris. Chris is exhaling slowly through his nose. Chris loves that page. He's on there constantly. Messaging, there was a post posting. by an industry pal, and uh, she said some people came in and uh, that were industry people and they acted like a bunch of dicks. So let me uh, le- oh, wow. read some of this. A whole bag of dicks. I'm livid at learning about the behavior yesterday. Learning about, I don't know, maybe she wasn't there, so I'm going to second hand. Anyway, behavior yesterday of a group of winery employees in our tasting room. I have reached out to the owner of the winery, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to post here. To encourage winery owners to be aware of how your staff are conducting themselves out in the community, this particular group showed up on a party bus with several people, more than the reservation. That sucks. Oh, my God. Were rude about COVID precautions in place. Double sucks. Barked orders at my staff yelling across the tasting area. Bullshit. Fuck you. Uh, Dumped wine several times on my patio. She's got like a teak, nice patio. Leaving stains, even though they were provided with a dump bucket. Oh, really? were disrespectful about the wines That's and demanded so freebies from my staff after behaving this way. Other customers noticed, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I mean... If you work in the industry, you know how fucking hard the job is? Right. Yeah. Don't make it right. harder on people. And yeah. don't act like... Yeah. I, one of my biggest pet peeves is people who have worked in industry acting like they have the right to be more high maintenance than the average customer because right. they understand how hard the job is. Right. It is the most fucking backwards opinion. Yeah. You should understand how hard the job is and that you should be the most accommodating guest. Yep. The most accommodating customer. Right. When it needs to be called out, sure. I'm all about calling somebody out if they don't bring me something that I ask for or whatever, but you know, snapping nah, your fingers then, and asking. No, I agree. Like, come on, there's like, the polite sort of like whatever. Always yeah. assume the the benevolent uh, side, and that's in hospitality. I, I that that's business, why everybody that should work in the restaurant business at oh, some yeah. point in their life. Right. And you know, same thing for wine. I mean, to hear that people are going out there and just getting lost in the experience, going out with their buddies and just not thinking that is disheartening frustrating you know right not okay you know what we need to do i think we all need to just start our own little college of of like general just do's and don'ts hospitality university of general it's just that's the name of it university of general so you don't be a dick university well yeah but you learn every aspect of everybody's careers sure so you Jeez. can get a general sort of knowledge base and being like what it takes to do right. whatever job Wouldn't that there be is. a nice class so in high school, you know or? so you aren't an asshole to somebody who's out there fucking sweeping but the here's streets. the thing that that's that's what's so frustrating about what? their hit their industry people well, that's they because they know. never fucking understood it. And they don't give a well, shit. Well, and that's on their well, leadership. Like, that's yeah. And that is right. totally it. That's yep. on, yes. Like, whoever this is, I didn't look because I would have outed you on camera. What? Like, if you don't have your tasting room staff on point or at least have a talk, if you're not going to be with the group, but you know you're sending your group out and you're setting up an itinerary, you sit them down and you lay out the ground rules. And if there's things that are acceptable in your tasting room that you know aren't generally acceptable in other tasting rooms, you at least teach the etiquette. Yeah. yeah. But if, if your staff is going to go do shit that you wouldn't, like, you would be upset about <laughs> if someone did that in your, t- if I come to your tasting room and I just kind of, I don't like this, on the ground. Fucking pour it out. And then your folks do that, like, so hard. On a fuck deck. You. On a deck that can be stained. That, that there's, can be stained. there's no room well, for that. Well, and just, honestly, I mean, just, even if you're just kind of loud and obnoxious, like, well, and even like if po- that's uh, all that it was, right? But that, even, even that's uh, even a in bitch. The, like, even in the like I mean, that's the COVID frat. setting that we're in, we're yeah. All of us are it's taking like, fewer on. guests. Sorry. We're being overly accommodating oh. to get yeah. industry it, groups in. Yeah. Right. Where someone's going to stay late, you're going to give up a table that would have actually made you money, like mm-hmm. whatever that is, and then you show up. Get at, like, honestly, and, and, and industry people aren't going to come and buy a ton of wine. Like, 
But no. you, you should probably try and buy a bottle. At, I mean, they'll buy the some. Least, because and you're going to get comped, you know. fair enough. And 99.9% yeah. of the time, yeah. industry groups are incredible. Like, this yeah. isn't a segment to shit this on industry the, groups to yeah. go out and tasting. This no, no. is to say, oh, like. Oh, you got to go out and taste. This is the exception, not the rule. Yeah. Like, but most no, most groups are so great. Yeah. And they're like, they understand how gratuity works. They understand, you know, if they're not going to buy bottles, you're going to take care of your host, whatever that is. Yeah. But I think there's there's a psychological thing that happens with people who don't have a lot of power in position. So, for instance, a tasting room associate. Okay. Let's say these are tasting room associates. I'm just generalizing. But I can relate this back to the medical industry where I work. People with low levels of power. <clears throat> CNAs, medical assistants, whatever you want to text. Often you, you have experiences with patients who say, that person told me, you know, they said, I, mm. I, I told them this vein was the best and they told me, no, my other arm was better or whatever. They take the little amount of power they have and they wield it as much as possible. Right. 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 Yeah. It's I, I'm the guy to choose which vein I poke. And even though you've gone to the doctor for 25 years, my four months of training teaches me, right? Mm. Tasting room associates do this, and it, and it's the it's the weird exception to what you're talking about, which right. is ninety five percent of the time probably. They're great. They understand how hard the job is. There's a small percentage of people who power trip, no matter who yeah. they're where they're at, right. yeah. and that power trip is involving. I know you could do your job better. Right. I would do it better than you, and they think. Sure. I would do better, your job better than you, and I'm going to hold you right. accountable to my standard. Well, and unless you have an incredible team that has personal integrity and is willing to operate on their own sort of character standards, that is coming from their direct leadership. Mm -hmm. like, that's you watching your boss you being an asshole, talking sure. about other tasting rooms, sure. weird. Like, yeah. you walk into that entitled because you were allowed to feel entitled. Yeah, you've yeah. got to be proactive about that oh, yeah. as a leader. Right. I can understand. I'm guessing this group went out to cut loose and have fun. And they looked at the tasting as a bar or a restaurant right. and we're going to go and we're going to be loud and everything. But as a, as a leader, as you know, uh, a general manager or sales manager or whatever, right. you've, you've got to nip that in the bud. You've got to, right. you've got to, you've got to front load and say, Hey, I know we're going to go out and have a good time, right. but these are the do's. These are the don'ts right. just because I can understand going out and cutting loose and just getting out of hand. People, we, I mean, we see it. We've done right. it. People, people, yeah, right. yeah, and everything. Hundred percent. But that's where leadership comes in. You've just, you've right. just got to be better. You've got to be the adult in the room. Totally. Go do know? an educational experience, and then go to Lumpy's and have a great burger and do shots. Like there you go. Whatever you've got to do, yeah. like throw down a couple. But those people aren't there to be bartenders and, or yeah. fucking pick Oof. up. You tell you to shut up or right. Add your six people to their reservation right. that you didn't tell them were coming. Right. You Generally, show, you show up to the winery I work at, and you do that, and I'm going to throw you out. Don't be that guy. <laughs> and and, 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 and on the note, record it, please. On what no. Stefan and Wes have said, I remember right when I started working for Cody Wright, he told he we sat down and talked about he wanted me to go out and try wines. I didn't know anything about wine when I started working for him, and we talked specifically about just like when I was in college and I played for a football team. Anytime you went out in the public, you represented that team. And if you didn't represent Absolutely. them right, you're gone. Right. Cody talked to me about that. And it was like, I want you to go out and be, be within the community, learn about the other wineries. Mm. But you're purple hands. When you go in there, you are representing Absolutely. me. Right. That's great advice. That's, and that's leadership. Yeah, you know, right. I think whoever's working at these tasting rooms that's going around and sabotaging oh, other yeah. places. I mean, I, yeah. The leadership, it, it really is a matter of you represent me or us. And uh, and if you work for us, then what do you, what you do in the community matters. Right. You can't just go out and be who you want. Right. Well, and that like side note with them showing up with groups that were larger than I don't know if they worked with whoever their driver was to set them up. But it's the same with <laughs> That's other, other conversation. It's the same with driving companies too. Like you know what you're setting your group up for when you show up. Yes. And if you show up with something more than what's expected for a tasting room. That is on a driving company. That's on a driver. Yes. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. If I've got a group that's oh, yeah. just rowdy, they are rowdy, and right. I know it, and there's, and I've got a chance to call the tasting room to give right. them a heads up. Like, yeah, yeah. You, right. you make you that call. I mean, I've lied through my teeth yeah. to my guests on a number of occasions. I will make that call. Yeah, well, I'm I'm not, not, they both do. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no we've had, we've the right had others though, that have come up into our tasting room, and they've done that, and it's just like... 
Well, and and some like and some really, of the we have made I've made really, that call before, and, right. and then, like, a lot of the tasting rooms are like, ah, eh, that's cool. Bring them up. Right. We'll take we'll care of them. We'll set them aside. We'll set them. We'll put yes. them over here, and they get it, and they're cool. And they're cool. But like, make the call anyway. That's a that's right. a whole other yeah. conversation. Right. Yeah. Having worked we'll, in we'll a tasting room, that. which right. Wesley has and I have, right, it is a, in, it is a huge difference. Right. Even if you are with the group and you don't have a tour driver. <laughs> And you're like the the sober one. You're the adult. You're like my bitches are being crazy right now. We have a reservation. Right. Can we still come. They'd be like, for sure. Thanks for warning us. Right. We're gonna put you out back in the garden at Pinner right. Ash or yeah. whatever. Like right. in the corner. Anyway. We're yeah. still gonna yeah. give you a great experience, but we know it's being transparent. Our expectation. Well, because yeah. too, like if you show up and you're that shitty, you're taking away movie. from that host's ability to actually make money yeah. at it, other tables it fucks that are next their door. There's, like you can you can go from having like a great day to like. Oh, Imagine being a waitress like, in a in a yeah. restaurant with all of a sudden a twenty person group shows up and wants drinks Fuck every yeah. five. Se- that's what your life is like right. as a Fuck. tasting room manager or yeah. right. So treat your tasting rooms nice, yeah, and if you don't, Tip we'll find you. Fucking we'll tell everyone about <laughs> you. Seriously, bring it. We will call you out. Yeah, I'm gonna be all the right, Batman of bad tasting groups. We need to uh, wrap this up, Chris. I appreciate your time tonight. Yeah, thanks, brother. And, uh, Thank you so Thank much. You, bros. And I, 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 I'm glad that you're gonna be able to do something with this, uh, with this tasty juice that we got. We'll, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah we'll, it's we'll, be awesome. we'll check back in soon. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Well, we should do another one at the end of this when it's. We'll do a follow-up. We'll check back. We'll check yes. back. From yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll do that. A little reveal once we actually get well, after, labels and a name. After Harvest yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're working on it. Thank you so much for listening and viewing. Make sure you please like and God, uh, please share. Please subscribe. Subscribe? Jesus yeah, Christ. Subscribe. Share. Share. Did my whole family we're, we're subscribe, on, please? We're even on Apple Podcasts <laughs> no. now. Um, <laughs> one. And share it to all your friends because you know they want that in their Facebook feed. Yeah, you guys Instagram. know yeah, Life is boring and difficult and social media is full of negativity. That? Like... Tell people just about t- us. Just help out a couple boners, you know, yeah. that are doing a podcast. Yeah, we're trying to get famous. What? Nothing. I thought we were cutting. We are we're cutting. cutting. All right. Out of here. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Later. All right. We are doing a giveaway this week of wine. Good, good oh, yeah, we are. Good wine. Really good wine. We so rated our cellars. We, yeah, we, we, we dove in the cellar, uh, like literally did, yeah. and we have three bottles here, and if you like subscribe and share you are entered into our drawing uh the first bottle out of stuff on cellar eiyo blackburn reserve 2009 if you like bigger pinos that is a good one for you retail value retail value 65 dollars cool or more i don't know it's no nine so no there's nine, it's not like it's out one. there in the world it's the oh it's eiyo is awesome. i would describe this as slutty Ooh, I love so sales. I recommend it very much. Um, and you can't get into EIO without a minimum of what? Six bottle purchase? $500 yep. gets you the tasting. Smartest tasting but it all in goes, the world. It all goes towards wine purchases. Jay's, that's, Jay's a, that's, a business. That's going to be another episode. But Jay makes uh, really Jay good wine. It is a really good no, wine. No, that's a dynamite wine. You one for free. So. Yep. Yeah, dude. Next one uh, from Winderley, 2016, Meredith Mitchell Vineyard. Tasty ass wine from a legendary vineyard. Gonna love that. My cellar. And, and then our uh, last wine, uh, that's from Cole's cellar, Domaine Wa, a fee, Iron Filbert Vineyard from 2018. Wesley, what's the deal on that wine? 120 retail, best of the best. Um, primary fermentation done in Tuscan concrete. Cream wow. of the crop. 20% new oak. That's good. <laughs> Let's That's some good go. shit. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and share, Bye. and you will be entered into the drawing. Thank you so much. We love you. Bye-bye.